lies before me. We're all on the same side, friend. Right. Which crew are you with? Bellbreakers? The children of Hor? The names ring familiar. Two of the many crews that make up the guild. A loose collective with ties to every criminal enterprise in the city's underworld. In between scores, then. Oh, there's no shame in that. This Stone Lord business has even the bigger crews shutting up shop for a while. Fair warning. The Guildmaster wants no fraternizing with the Zentarim. They're here to work, not share war stories. They won't be much use to us if they're drinking and dicing when the Stone Lord kicks the door down. Well, whoever he is, he doesn't seem very keen on talking. He came out of nowhere and ate up half our turf in a ten day. So if you're speaking to the Guildmaster, maybe step soft around the topic. Hmm? What's up for discussion? Wow, look who it is! Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Ready to do some business? Give me that! Can't have this floating around loose. I thought I was meant to be the thief. So what if it is? Choosing the right allies is just common sense. You wouldn't have made it this far on your own. Big Raff doesn't own me. He's just giving me the tools to keep myself alive and to take what I want. As for what that is, well, you didn't think I planned to stop at running the Fetch's brats, did you? I knew you'd understand. Everyone's owned by somebody. Might as well sign up to be on the winning team. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Baldur's Gate is home now, and the brats are my family. Nobody messes with my family. What's up for discussion? <sighs> it's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they failed to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me! This is a private council! Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. How nice. You won't find many of those in my guild hall. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course, 
Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak, or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stonewall. It should. My people speak it in the same breath as Saravok and Demogorgon, but he's just another upstart. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. The Stone Lord plans to rob the Counting House, and Nine Fingers means to trap him there. Those clanking great steel watchers. Does he hate them? No matter what the man says. Didn't I tell you to feck off? Oh, yeah? And are you here to make good on that? And you're the judge, jury, and executioner, is that it? Yeah, right. Say goodbye, kid. This 
swift as my feet can carry me. I should speak up. Is it done? Have you slain the Beastmaster? Umberly smiles on us all. Thank you for enacting her blessed vengeance. May the tides crush his bones to sand. As promised, the Wave Mother rewards those who submit to her will. May the seas be as kind as you deserve. Seems like a good moment to talk. Welcome to the Counting House. I'm Head Clerk Mead, honey. How may the Fellowship of Financiers serve you? Will this one start breaking bones like the Stone Lord? Hin's horned feet. I should have been a baker. The who? The what? All right, fine. A rather large and heavily armed fellow has taken head banker Glitterbeard below. He used that name. He's an unusual sort of customer, but the head banker said he'd handle it, so it's fine. I'm sure we're just fine. That would be most unusual, but then so is our visitor. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass, and should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. Take your time down there, headband. Someone who wants to take you for a drink. Account holders only from here. Vault pass? Right. <clears throat> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. Which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. Need to see a vault pass, please. Walks in order. Blessed day to you. Seems simple enough. to go still. On I go. Oh, enough waiting. 
fighting. I crave blood. Hush your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power eye. But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. There is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort. In your final moments! Ha! <laughs> Meet Minsk! He still seems very much himself to me. You... Stone Lord? Ha! Huh. Better to call yourself Stonehead! Your false face does not fool my eyes. I will cut until you look like the monster you truly are. Somehow, you are making even less sense than usual. Perhaps I can explain. The Stone Lord sees through your lies, shapeshifter. Count yourself lucky he cannot stay. Oh, nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Shape changers! Enough! Let us deal with these cultists, then find out where they are nesting.
You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that Mimic could swallow a bloody owl bear. Wait. You're no guild sworn. Who are you? You're missing your motley, Jester. We softened our defenses to lure that bastard in. Nine Fingers wants the Stone Lord dead. With what he cleared from our vaults, he's got enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. And he wouldn't even know what to spend it on. It's the cult that needs that money. Why? You think anyone told me? Nine Fingers sent word the Stone Lord was going to try his luck on our vaults. So she told me to cooperate, lure him in. Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name or the absolutes? Just step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth. <laughs> No one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. Crone? Uh, look, I just mean to say, we both want him caught. If you've got your sights set on the Stone Lord, anyway. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the coin he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it? Try all of it? Every penny of civilian lodgings, anyway. I mean, not like we'd lead him into the private vaults. But still, a lot of Baldurians waking up poor tomorrow. What he can do with that kind of coin... Oh, ...doesn't bear thinking about. Compassion for your fellow folk? Or maybe just good sense? That much money only paints a target on your back. In our hands, it keeps the city ticking over. Stock in merchant stalls. Food in hungry bellies. Retrieve the coin. And I'll make sure you are well rewarded. There's treasures greater than gold. Feel free to poke around this place and it'll help you pick up the Stone Lord's scent. Me, I've got ledgers to amend. These footprints started in the sewers. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We send to him are so long past our own godly roots, I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> Rodent! Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect. And you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you! On that note, good luck. 
The job will be done by the time you get to the guild hall. Hope your soul is in Not good hands. Yet. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage, flaring brighter every moment. Killed. He won't stay down for long. Tell your related to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The mind flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. For a brief moment, the lines on her face look deeper, her eyes full of pleading. I have said my piece. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by. Battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira... You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. Jahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. 
but first, you have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? A level head and a kind heart. It is well that Boo kept me from crushing either. I would be rid of this parasite. Minsk takes orders from only one tiny beast. And he is much cuter than any mind maggot. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Minz to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? For every song of Minst the Ranger, they sing ten of the hamster Boo. And not just because his name is easier for their rhyming. Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil. 
together. I give you my solemn vow. Should any of us show signs of weakening to the worm, or any other evil, Boo will slaughter us all in our beds. I hope this brings you comfort. You have a great many companions already. There is no room for little Boo, or slightly larger Minsk. Who and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. Time to come visiting, my friend. This is Zentrim territory now. Just as soon as we've purged it of guild rats. Nothing personal. What's up for discussion? Suppose I should have seen that coming. Zentarim aren't known for their loyalty, but I thought the bastards would keep to their contract at least. I'm too nice for my own good, I suppose. But I was in a pit, and you helped pull me out. For that, I'm grateful. You'll have what guild blades I can give when the time to take the absolute comes. So, just tell me what you need to get us there. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Thieves, frauds, and miscreants. If it's just the watch warrants you're reading. The guild isn't any one thing. We're everything. All the parts of the city the Watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the Watch that keeps the peace, or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. It's us. If we take a little tribute in return, or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. Clean water. Filthy riches and everything in between. We're citizens of the city. No more, no less. Right now, I'll settle for taking our city back. You have done plenty. Do any more and the guild might have to take a special interest in you. 
Understood. Did you enjoy the encounter? <laughs> I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. You have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. You find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolute's at our gate. And the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. Zahira, Ebu is trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand because you do not listen. We were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and... Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Bo greet cheek with hand. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. I have seen too much to believe destiny has taken our side. Blind luck, perhaps. The point remains. You meant well, Minsk. But you exposed the city to harm. You helped the cult spread. And worse, perhaps, than any of this. You forced me to leave you behind. But this is where Minsk falls short of the understanding, Jahira. What else is a berserker for if not to charge into danger ahead of his Waklaren? The Waklaren? Wise women of Rashomon, each bonded to a berserker bodyguard for life. There is no higher title, nor deeper bond, in all of Rashomar custom. Wiglarin? Minsk, I am not your witch. You are not my bodyguard. This is not some high lodge of your homeland. Bo agrees, you're a queer kind of witch. But this city is a queer place. And Minsk, you may have noticed, is sometimes strange himself. The titles matter not. Only this. When Minsk does as Minsk does, and charges in to make a mess, Jahira does as Jahira does, and finds a way to save us all anyway. Well, at least you're getting to know him a little better. I am your friend, Ranger. I am not your witch. There will be no ointments or healing bombs. Not even for Boo? You've come to make a lodgment. A city sized one.
and not even a whisker light. Gods, you're a boring bastard. Me too, I suppose, because I'm not even tempted to scam you. Take this vault key. You'll find something by way of thanks inside. Anything of use? 